Hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back. I was out here working on the 79 Caddy DeVille here today and getting this thing cleaned out on the inside. Doing a little bit of work on the inside of the car today. Pretty sweet. Clean up pretty good. And I got, you know, I get some more vacuuming to do here now because, I mean, I got some leaves and stuff blowing inside of the car, but it is what it is. You know, I got to clean the scrub the seat belts. I don't got to scrub the interior down yet, but clean it up pretty well so far. But anyways, so what I wanted to bring you along for was we picked up the new project yesterday. It was a new ride at the shop here yesterday, so I wanted to uh, go ahead and do a quick walk around of it today. Oh, so you guys can take a peek, see what you think. Go from there, all that good stuff. So, um... But yeah, we're working outside the shop today, so let's go ahead and spin it around, take a look at this baby, and see what you guys think. Here it is, guys, our 1963 Beetle. We're going to give you a close-up look at it today. Um, she's got some rust on the bumpers. It's going to need some uh, either silver paint or whatever we decide to do to the bumpers or re-chrome, which I'm sure is not going to be cheap, but you know what? It is what it is. We're just going to have some fun with this thing. So it wasn't really a planned buy. It kind of just came up on us like that. So, you know, uh, the lenses for the blinkers are a little wore out. I mean, it's a 63. And, you know, the wheels, they look like they've been on it for 300 years. So it's it's all good, you know. Inside the wheel wells look pretty good. It looks like they're brand new fenders, it looks like to me. You can see the car was originally white. And somebody painted it the burgundy did an awful job on the paint but that's beside the point we do have one rust spot right there it looks to be like in the outside of the heater channel but no fear no fear calm down the rest of the heater channels in the car look great so there's a little spot on the bottom one of the sides i can't remember which side it is um where it's starting to rot out so we can address that like right away and not worry about the huge channels. The rest of them are pretty good. All right. So um, we did quite a bit of research on these Beetles before we pulled the trigger on this car. And this one was actually a really solid Beetle to start with. I mean, it's got some previous body work. There's a little bit of Bondo filler in it. Everything you can see here and there. Sand marks. They didn't get out very good. Um, the bottom of the door seems to be all original yet. So that's all good. It's a 63. I mean, the body lines line up nice. You know, for the most part, the doors open and shut really good on it. Um, all of the rubber seals are pretty toasty, like very toasty. So I'm going to assume that it's not a Michigan car, that it's a Western car because of all the, I mean, the weather shipping took a lot of damage. So it's got to be, I'm thinking a Western car just because of all the, the rubber is pretty rough, you know, type of thing. So I think that it was probably in a high heat area, you know, very high temps. Um, they have some filler around here. You know, it looks like some bubbling up around right there. Common spots, you know, for these. Uh, running boards, of course, are shot, as always. Again, looks like a newer fender on the back, but she took quite a beating because they had it black for quite a while. So it looks like it just took a lot of, like, rain and weather. Um, inside the back, you know, where all the body mounts are, it looks really good. Doesn't look like it's ever been patched before. It's all factory. The back mounts in the back look great. That's all really good. These are all rotten areas. We do got to address the trunk lid or the hood, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm new to these, so I don't know what to call it proper. But, you know, you see it doesn't quite match up on both sides. That's because the hood hinges are a little jacked up on this side and that side. I think you either need adjustment or some new hood hinges. But regardless, we'll take care of that. It does run really good, though. That's the cool part about it. Runs really good. I'm not sure exactly what was mounted up here. I don't know if that was an antenna or what, but um, yeah, the rubber on here is just, man, just the rubber sucks. It's just took a beating from the sun. Um, yeah, their prep job on paint was not very good. It's a little dent right there. It's a 63. What do you expect? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to tell you is it's a 63. You can only get so much. You know what I'm saying? So the back bumper looks a lot better than the front bumper, and we can go ahead and fix that. They still even left the sticker on there for the fenders. Premium quality automotive products. You can probably look that up and see right where it came from. Left rear. 
Let me just leave the sticker on it. And it does look like we have a little rust right there. So we are going to take care of I'm going to put the camera up there. We are going to take care of that. Looks like. It doesn't look like it's a hole. It looks more like the rubber sunk down in there. Because that rubber should be up. And uh, so that needs to be pulled up. Maybe a new rubber put on there. But um, You know, again, body mounts over here look really good. Even never unpatched. In the back part, they look pretty good. There's a bumper bolt missing right there. I see that now. That bracket. Um, pretty good. Some dents and dings. Obviously, this running board crap as well. Is the other side. It is what it is. Um, we should probably pan this thing to open. Whoa, what is that? Oh, I thought that was a crack in the tire. No, nope. tires are like nice. They're like new tires. And this side of the heater channel here is really good. Nothing wrong with there. Everything looks looks legit up here in the front. Um, let's see. Where do I want to show you first? Let's go ahead and show you inside. I haven't done nothing to it yet, so I wanted to show it to you now. Uh, the weather stripping around the door. Junk. Junk, junk, junk. That needs to be replaced. Um, door panels, you know, is what it is. Floor is a little ripe. And not so much this side, but the other side. Now here, I did find a little bit of filler and stuff along this top rail. But I think it's just the outer rocker, it looks like to me. I don't see any evidence here that the A-pillar has been welded on. Or back here for the B-pillar. So that looks pretty good. Pretty legit for a 63. So, um, driver's floor, good. Looks good underneath. The heater channel looks pretty good. And this side, all kinds of residue from the rubber mat that was in it and we're going to take care of that here in a little bit but uh, let's see and i don't know how the seat adjusts yet but i do know it the seat don't move not yet so i gotta figure that out why that is but they painted it burgundy and kind of ruined it i mean the car was originally in white uh headliner don't look bad at all it just seems a really good cleaning good scrubbing it's pretty dirty in the back i'm gonna see it back there it's good cleaning back there. Seat upholstery looks pretty good though. Back seat looks pretty good. I mean, just dirty. Scrub that up. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, and then these cars just got a funky like reverse on them too. Trying to find reverses, like hell. Um. All right. So up in the trunk area, let's put this on wide view. Cool. So in the trunk area, um, oh shoot, you know I gotta pull the lever probably. Gosh dang it, I do. Let me pull the lever. You know, there's enough, there's enough room on this trailer for the car and me. So that's always good. Doors open and shut good. That's always a good thing. gets a little attitude sometimes but so in the spare tire carrier part you know of course if you know anything about bugs um according to what i found out this area in here normally is rotten and it does have a hole right there but that's all i'm able to find as far as holes it might have had a patch well i'm not sure looks like it might have got hot at one time but i don't know so the VIN matches the title, that's fantastic. A lot of times the VINs are missing on these cars. Um, brand new bolts on the fenders, that's just it. So the fenders were put on not too long ago. You see the car was white. Wiring looks pretty decent. I mean, like it's not, you know, hasn't been too fudged up. Um, fuel vent, vent there. And I don't know exactly where the fuel line is. It must be out the bottom of somewhere. It's, looks like they put a newer tank in it though. So that's kind of good. Maybe it's been on the road in 85 it looks like. Don't know. Maybe. Um, hood lip there looks good. Holy crap, what is that thing? Hood lip looks good in the back. 
So that's cool. That's good. Oh, tripping over stuff. All right. So come on the passenger side here real quick. We'll go in here. Roof looks good. Nothing wrong with that. Not done it or nothing. So the passenger side, um, coming around here, floor's got some rust, a lot of surface rust. I don't see any rot on the front. I threw all that, you know, when we get done, we're gonna clean this all out. Um, heater channel looks like it might have a little hole right here and a hole starting in the A pillar right there. So we should be able to catch those early enough now to fix those. And heater channel looks good here. There's a lot of surface rust on it here just starting. So I think we caught her in time. Hopefully the floor will hold up really well uh, as we go through it but um so the back this is the bad spot of course typically uh batteries underneath the rear seat according to what we understand and this floor here is just not good um we already priced the floor pan for the back and it's not that much um i'll probably replace both back floor plans not really sure yet depending how bad they are once to get all the stuff out of there so but we'll go from there when we get to that point Right now, it's just whatever. We'll just throw a stop sign in there for now. Good enough. You know, it's a bug. So, there's that kind of a quick video of what it's like right now. Other than that, though, I'm still original. I wish we had the center for the steering wheel. I don't think I've found that yet. Still gotta go through the back yet. But the door shut pretty good. Yeah. For a 63. This rubber here is kind of up there a little bit in the fender and bulging out right here, but I don't know. Maybe we didn't have any help with the fender sign. Who knows? Uh, you probably want to see the power house now. Now this isn't gonna stay open, so I'm gonna have to hold this and kind of point to so it obviously doesn't latch properly. And I think the hood hinges, there's one right there. And one right there, and I think there's something wrong with those. Or, I don't even know. I don't even know what is. This one looks bent. And this one looks unbent. So my guess is the hood hinge, but you can see the hood, there's some play there. Almost like it's, oh, they welded that hood hinge on, that's why. Yep, and it's, wow, what a gap. Yeah, that's gonna need some work. That's going to need some work. That's not cool. So we're probably going to end up putting, taking this hood off and trying to do something with it. I don't know what yet, but something. This hood hinge here has been bent way down, you can tell that. Guys is probably better off to get some new hood hinges for it. They've both been welded on back there. I don't think it's so much the hood, I think it's just the hinges. So I think we can take those out and straighten those so we can do it with the hood. And that's probably why it's struggling to close. But the engine looks pretty clean. The server looks pretty good. And it runs pretty good. Generator. Pipes are missing for the heat tubes. But it all looks pretty solid back in there. You know where the rot normally is on these? There, oh, there's a wire off right there. And I'll be dipped. Get two plugs there and two over here. Shouldn't be too bad. We'll have to pull those out and see what they look like. See how she's been running. Been sitting for a long time, but uh, the guy did drive it quite a ways to get it to where we found it. So I'll probably pull that carb off to rebuild on that. She does spit a little bit, maybe a new fuel filter on it. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Ugh. That sucker's red. And just like, oh yeah, that's, I'll probably put a new fuel filter on it like soon. Like really quick. Like before I run it again. And then figure out what the heck's going on with that hood. Hinges. Yeah, that hinge is bent. Big time. Big time. And they did some kind of funky repair up there in the front. I don't know. 
You can kind of see it right up in here. I don't know what they did, but they got a lot of welding going on up there. But it shouldn't look too bad. Again, it's a 63. You know, not run it out through here. That's good. Oh, she's got some starting right there. Right inside there. See a little bit starting there. Nothing on the other side, though. So it's got little areas here and there, you know, starting. Nothing like these cars, you know, normally have. For a 63, they're normally a lot worse. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Yep. That's part of the problem right there. That's part of the problem. This. Oh, there you go. So she's down. And hold on. There you go. Now the lashes. Ha! And it don't look so bad up there either. It's got a bad hand or something. That's what's going on. We'll have to take a look at that. Let's see what's causing that. But. She's a 63 Beetle. We're gonna go ahead and wash it up, clean it up a little bit, uh, vacuum some of the stuff out of the interior so we can kind of see more of what we got inside there, how the floors are, all that good stuff, kind of see what it looks like, so. All right, guys, so there you have it, our newest one at the shop. Probably guess what we call it. That's right, Herbie. Oh, we're calling this one Herbie. So, anyways, all right, it's the only guy named car that we got. I don't know. I don't know why. It just fits. It just fits. So, all right, guys, so let us know what you think of the bug down in the comments below. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe. We appreciate it. And I'm going to go ahead and get to work on this interior a little bit, and we'll come back at you in a while and uh, let you see the final result. So, we'll talk to you soon, guys. Later.